What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and in a world where everything is connected to the internet and smart, why shouldn't your irrigation also be connected and smart? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Smart Super Experience Package from Rainpoint. This includes everything that you need to make sure that your lawn or garden is adequately watered without oversaturating the soil, potentially causing harm to your plants. And you can do this from the comfort of your bed or wherever you have an internet connection and your phone. We're gonna take a look at all of these products from Rainpoint, set them up, see them in action, and get an overall view of what this is capable of. Big shout outs to Rainpoint for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the entire Super Experience package with everything that they have on offer. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what all we're working with. In my opinion, this will be the most important part of the entire setup, which is the two zone water timer. Uh, this is going to allow us to use the timed water system in both my front yard and my backyard. So this is definitely super important. We've got the high precision rain sensor. This is gonna be able to tell how much rain or precipitation has occurred uh, with an accuracy rate of up to 0.1 millimeter. The irrigation display hub is gonna give you the information for your entire system here uh, in a place that you're gonna be able to see it readily. And other information from your sensors like air temperature, humidity, soil moisture, and even the amount of rain that has occurred. They sent out two soil and moisture sensors, which is great. I could have one in the backyard and the front yard. This is going to keep everything from overwatering, which is super important. This is the air humidity sensor. It's gonna allow you to know what the humidity levels are in the air. The two zone water timer actually has a water flow meter built in. So if you're just getting this, you don't necessarily need this, but the water flow meter will allow you to know how much water you're actually using. Getting everything set up here has been super simple and easy. I've already got my display connected and the two zone water timer connected. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how easy it is uh, by connecting the rain meter. Um, so essentially we're just going to hit the add devices and you'll choose what you're adding. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select next and we've got 88 seconds to insert the batteries. All right, and it has already added the device successfully. So super easy, super simple. And I'm just gonna kind of repeat the process with everything and then I'm gonna take this all outside and get everything set up in place and we'll test everything out and see how everything works. So I've got my rain meter out here in a level spot, uh, just kind of in an open area where it's gonna be able to collect all the rain without any obstruction. So I've got my flow meter set up over here by the driveway. That way I can kind of monitor my water usage if I am washing my car. And this is also the side of the house where if I was gonna let my kids have a play day with water, like in a sprinkler or a slip and slide or something, we would do that over on this side. So this is another great way that I can kind of monitor my usage. I've got my humidity temperature monitor just kind of hanging from a tree branch over here out of the way. I think that's a pretty good spot for it. And it's gonna make sure we have an accurate measurement of the humidity outside. So my first ground moisture detector, I've got it set up here in the backyard next to my plants. So I've got a, a fig tree here that's brand new, a couple of blueberry bushes, and then you can't really see them well. I've also got a few more fig trees here and I wanna make sure that the ground is good and moist for these fig trees because they love water. And then I've got my second ground moisture sensor monitoring the moisture level in my flower beds. I've noticed that my rose bush here kinda of gets dried out pretty easily so this is gonna be great for helping to monitor the water moisture in the ground over here. Okay, and this is kind of the star of the show. This is the two zone water timer. You do have manual override. You can just press the button here to manually start your water. Of course, this is connected to the internet and you can control it with your phone. You do have a bit of a water filter up top and then you can see the valves that open and close on either side for water flow. So from my phone, I can go either left valve or right valve, I can set the time that I wanna run it. So for this demonstration, I'll just go a minute, confirm, and then it begins water flow from the timer. All right, if I wanna stop that, I'll just go back to irrigation and cancel it. 
Same thing with the right valve. All right, we'll confirm it. And then the water begins to flow, All right? All right, if I want to cancel it, I just cancel it. All the while, it's also keeping track of the amount of water that's been used. Okay, so this is our smart display. Because it is connected to the internet, you actually get your local report synced into the smart display. And then you have your active usage monitor right here. You've also got your indoor temperature and humidity, and then you've got your sensors that you can scroll through here. Ground monitor, it's telling me the ground temperature and the moisture. And then the same thing with my second ground sensor, the ground temp and the moisture. So it is nice to have all of that information very easily accessible right there on the smart display. This is probably gonna find a home right here on my desk. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. And I guess I'll go for 10 minutes. All right, so not only am I able to turn this on and off, but now I'm monitoring the moisture in the ground thanks to my ground moisture sensor. And we're monitoring the amount of water that I'm using that's flowing through the system. We've got the same sort of setup here in the front yard. So I'll go ahead and switch over to my right valve and go to irrigation and turn that on. Okay, and now we're watering the front lawn, including including my, uh, had to get out of the way of the sprinkler there. Now we're watering the front lawn, including my flower bed over there. Test out the rain monitor. I've got it set up over here underneath the sprinkler just to kind of show that it's able to monitor how much rain we've had. So the best part of this is certainly being able to monitor and control everything from your phone. If we jump into the water timer, which is what we were just using to water the plants and grass, I jump into statistics, it's gonna give me the daily use. So just in testing, I use 0.3 gallons. And on the right side, it looks like we use 0.1 gallon there just for the testing purposes. You can get that in daily or even monthly graphs as well. And then the other thing that I really love about this is how you can plan everything out. With the addition sign here, um, you're gonna be able to set this up based on the time of day that you want this to work. You can have this to repeat daily or weekly, and you can set the duration or the time that you want this to run. There's even an option here for rain delay. So if your sensors pick up that it's been raining in order to not oversaturate your plants and lawn, you can set up a rain delay so that if it, the ground's already wet enough, it's not going to go and rewater the soil. If we jump into the smart display, you've got all of your information here. You've got charts to go along with that information there, 24 hours, 10 days, and you can set that up and customize that to your liking. You can access more information on your moisture sensors as well. My backyard is now 33% moist. The ground temperature is 80% and I've got my front yard 45% uh, moist with 88% ground temperature, and then there's your brightness on the sun. Okay, and then I've even got access to my flow meter. That's the one that I set up on the other side of the house for when I'm washing my car and other things there, and you've got your uh, total data plus charts. Overall, the Rainpoint Smart Super Experience Package really is the total package, giving you all the information that you need if you're looking to conserve water or just make sure you're not oversaturating your lawn and your garden. This is definitely the perfect setup to give you all the information that you need. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick up one of these for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.